here. There, she's got it. Hi, my name is Matthew de Graffenried. I love to hunt and fish and am fascinated with people using animals to hunt with, like falcons, hawks, eagles, cormorants, and ferrets. In January 2018, I discovered the sport of hunting with mink. After reading the book, The New Sport of Minkinry, by Joseph Carter, I learned he lived just 30 minutes away. I contacted Joseph and fell in love with these curious, smart hunters. My first mink is Jaeger, a kit born in April 2018. She is so smart and amazing. So come along and join me as I train Jaeger and take her on hunting excursions. That's it. Speed right in. So tonight, I've got this different harness. This is what I'm going to be calling her hunting harness because it has a long leash. It's, a, it's the same kind of harness I've made before that's um, a one-piece harness, but it tightens up around her neck, around her body. But it's um, got a little loop here and I can tie a big lead, long lead to it. So we're gonna be using that on her tonight. Anyhow, um, we're over here at the park again where we've caught a couple, had a couple of successful hunts with Jaeger. And um, we've got a drained canal over here and we're gonna go look for rats again. We've had success on a couple of occasions and we'll go see if we can find another one. So ready to go, Jaeger? Let's go. Come on. If we can get her out of her pocket, she likes her pocket. Watch how sneaky Jaeger is. While I was trying to untangle her lead, she snuck down a hole that I wouldn't even known it was there, but it was the upper hole of a muskrat den. Sneaky little mink. You gotta keep an eye on him all the time. So this is um, signs that there's muskrats around here because muskrat would have dug a hole way down there and they would have dug up here and this would have been like their exit hole. And they would have put a den up here or they would have been eating roots and stuff like that up here. So, but I don't want her down these right now. I'm gonna get her out. Okay, come on. You can go down those holes later. Let's go down along the, there could be rats in there, but with her harness on, I don't want to put her down there right now, so we're just going to put her down here along the... Okay. See these paths like this? Yeah. Those little paths are where the current goes, but it's also where the um, muskrats go swim along. Come on, let's go over here. Come on. Go. She held her breath for a long time. She made a big tangle. I have to let it go. Come on. <laughs> now where's she going? That's a, one of the reasons why I like to use this thin lead. She can go underneath the reeds and stuff like that, and the grass. Come on, let's come over here. She knows. Okay, this is where I want her to be. She's looking along. She's looking like in these little holes and crevices. Going here where there's potentially rats that have been out, or are getting ready to come out. She's not finding anything in there. Let's keep going up here. That's just the same hole, see? Let's keep going up here. You've already been in that hole. Come on, let's go up here a little more.
So this is good practice for her. She needs to learn that that sometimes there's good places and sometimes there isn't, and you need to just keep moving on. So I'll keep trying to guide her to go upstream. Crazy. There's one right here too. It's just like behind this little, this little shrubbery thing. Come on. Let's stay on this side. Let's just work this side. I like this lead, this longer lead. It's, it's lighter weight. Allows me to control her some, help her out but it's not so cumbersome and it makes it difficult. I just saw a rat, I just saw a rat. There's a rat up there. Come on, Jaeger. Come on. You can watch, watch her. She's tracking it. It's going up there. So, do you see it? Mm -hmm. you see it up there? Get a shot of it. Come on, Jaeger. Come on, come on, girl. Come on. She smells it. I think she sees it, too. Come on, girl. I want to point out here what you may think is strange behavior of this rat. They run up the canal bank and then head it off the grass, across the sidewalk, and climbed up two different trees. And then it squeaked and lunged at me. This is not uncommon behavior for a frightened rat. I've seen behavior like this from rats on the rat cleanups I've been on with my friend Joseph Carter. The rat gets so frightened by the smell of a mink that they run crazy. I've seen them run across fields, along the fence lines, and down the middle of a road. Other rats just hunker down in fear and others bolt to try and escape. I believe it's just an instinctive fear of me. Ganger, Ganger! There she's got it! Where girl? Awesome. Did you get that? Okay, good. I want her to cash it. I'll just let her take her time. Oh, good job. Good job, little mink. Awesome. Wow, that was a long chase. Rat trying to climb up a she tree. She wants to go hunting some more. Yeah, she's kind of got the hunting lust. That's okay. I can get her in there, get in there. I know that she's hungry. Little, I want to feed her a treat and then she'll go hunting again. That's fine. Maybe we'll find another one. So funny. I'll have to let her lead go. Look at that, big mess. And uh, but she wants to go hunting. And Joseph Carter, he calls it Wahey Hey, which is like um, excitement of the hunt. And an inexperienced minker tend to be like that. But I, I think it's great because it means that if she hunts and gets something, she's gonna take and cash it and then continue hunting some more. Come down this side. Let's try this side. We already tried that side. Well, we're running out of daylight. There's something there, girl? Oh, there was something there that she really liked. But you'll notice, watch if you watch Jaeger really closely, she's really getting in there and sniffing. She's she smells something. I really like the way that she she's um, pretty natural at it. She checks the, the banks, and she checks for holes and undercuts. 
that's where we pushed off that rat. Jaeger, come here. Good girl. All right, so not every hunt is successful. Um, we've had, this is the third successful hunt that we've had over at this little park, even though we've been over here other times and haven't had any success. But uh, I think this is the biggest rat that she's caught so far here. So let's get a shot with her and her rat. Whoa, there you go. <laughs> Come here. Let's see if I can get her to get a shot with me with her big rat. Here's your big rat. Don't you want your rat? Grab it. Anyways, that's uh, probably twice as big as the last one and four times as big as the first one she caught here. So that was really good. So I'm going to try to encourage her to catch it again and then I'm going to feed her up. Here you go. <laughs> you hear her hiss? She, she's like, that's my rat. Go ahead and catch it, girl. Come on, get it. Come on. Well, I'm gonna feed her for doing such a good job. Maybe she, we'll see if she's interested in eating. Okay, good girl. Get your hat. Get in there. <laughs> okay, Anyways, good job. thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more hunting videos as we go hunting with Jaeger and train her. She's awesome. She's doing great. Thanks. Have a good night.